Section 7.7, .7, Inverse Trig Functions. Up until now, in the last couple sections, we've been talking about trig functions, particularly sine, cosine, and tangent. Each of these trig functions take an, takes an angle measure as its input and gives a ratio of sides as its output. That's where we get so katoa. So basically what we do is we have an angle measure, we plug it into our trig function, and we get some ratio as our output. For example, we could say that if this was, say, a 40 degree angle, and this was a 30 inch side, we're looking for our hypotenuse. We could use sine. And we know that sine of 40 degrees, where 40 degrees is our input, will equal the opposite over the hypotenuse, which in this case is 30 over x. x equals 30 over sine 40, which ends up being about 46.67 inches. We have a couple of other examples too. If you want to get some practice in, I would suggest you go through these examples real quick. Make sure that you really do understand sine, cosine, and tangent. If you don't think you need the practice, you're welcome to go into the next video. But I will show you the answers to the examples that you have right now. So using our triangle above, we could say that AC is 10 and that theta is 35 degrees and we want to solve for AB. In this case we have opposite and adjacent meaning we want to use tangent or say tan of 35 equals 10 over x x equals 10 over tan 35 plug it into our calculators and we get 14.28 Let's try the second one. We are told that CB is 20 and that theta is 70 degrees. We want to solve for AB. In this case, we're using hypotenuse and adjacent. So we use cosine. Cosine of 70 degrees equals x over 20. x equals 20 times cosine 70 which equals 6.84. And let's go through that last example now. If AB is 63 and theta is 18 degrees, we're going to solve for CB. Oh, I made a mistake. In that previous one, we were supposed to solve for AC, in which case we want to use sine. We get sine of 70 equals x over 20. x equals 20 times sine of 70. Which equals 18.79. Okay, now for the last one. We have AB is 63, theta is 18 degrees, and we're solving for CB. Now we use cosine. Cosine of 18 equals 63 over x. x equals 63 over cosine 18. Plug these into our calculator we get 66.24. And that covers it. So that used sine, cosine, and tangent. And notice for all of these problems we were solving for a side. Solving for an angle is a little bit different.